The floods in Chennai disrupted operations. Currency volatility took its toll and the contraction in the energy vertical sapped growth momentum. And these three factors left Wipro gasping for breath at the end of the third quarter. Now the negative impact of these factors may ease up in the coming months, but that relief will be offset by the fact that the company is gearing up for a change at the top deck even as the demand environment remains under pressure. The demand environment for the way we see it is, uh, it's going to be, I would say, flat to marginally negative when it comes to total IT budgets. At least that's the first indication that we're getting from customers. And the reason behind that is pretty simple. <coughs> we're seeing that there is going to be pressure on US companies primarily because of a stronger dollar. US profitability is going to get affected. And to that extent, we see increasing opportunities for cost consolidation in our customer base. This means that margins which have already narrowed by 50 basis points will come under further pressure. However, Wipro has bagged six new deals in the infra services space this past quarter and is confident its revenues will grow 2 to 4 percent in the fourth quarter. But broadly, if you look at our quarter three performance in terms of new deal wins, I think that's reflected in our guidance for quarter uh, four. Now, the owners of delivering this upbeat performance will lie with Abid Ali Nimuchwala, who takes over as the CEO on the 1st of February. While the incoming CEO is confident, his focus on digital innovation to create operational efficiencies within the company and bag larger deals will do the trick. Wipro has been always a very technology, innovation, pioneering and engineering organization. And all of these are things that are required to be able to dominate in the digital future. So as we put together the strategy, I am also focusing on our plans on rigorous execution of that strategy. This means big investment and Wipro says it's ready to do what's needed. We are investing on digital, we are investing in m &A, we are also investing in intellectual property so that we can take solutions across tax to our customers to be able to provide them a faster time to market in digital transformation. The biggest challenge, however, will be maintaining margins as stricter U.S. visa norms push up costs and fueling a recovery in the energy vertical, which has been dragging performance down for the last five quarters. With Purnima Murli in Bangalore, in Mumbai, Kritika Saxena. That's Vipro meeting the subdued street.